Don't make the mistake of thinking that this is just another real estate investment workshop because it's not that at all. It is a wealth, Insiders Wealth Summit. We're bringing the wealthy together and we're giving you access to them, but only if you are here. Truly guys, we believe that your attendance here is going to make you a more powerful investor, a more competent investor, and one who will go out and do more deals simply because of the things that you've learned, the contacts that you've made, and the access to funding that you will not have unless you are here at the beautiful Coeur d'Alene Lake Resort where you can learn how to grow your business, transform your profits, and dramatically increase your net worth right now and in the months to come. After looking at the whole package and everything we have to offer at the Insider Wealth Summit, I have never seen a group of individuals with this much experience and this much talent in one place speaking on one stage. I, I tell you what, the amount of information that folks are going to come away with is absolutely phenomenal. They are going to be, you know, they're going to be rejuvenated, they're going to be energized, they're going to be excited. You know, and what I like is the fact is it's not a sales event. We're not selling them anything. We're just trying to educate them. We're going to help them to make smarter choices as an investor, not only as a borrower, but as a lender, as an investor, about where to invest their money, how to invest their money, how to look at a good deal, what is a good return, what is the economy, what is the marketplace, what is the market going to do. So basically, I mean, the lineup is phenomenal. Oh, Lee. Hi. Uh, quarterly reports, Lee. Quarterly reports. Yeah. Down in my studio. Yeah. Well, I I uh, using, I saw your golf club. You're using my golf clubs. And I, I don't want you tainting them with bad golf play. Well, I'm just down here giving everybody some encouragement uh, because not that they need it because Team Dean is going to get killed at the golf tournament, but I, I like to be an equal opportunity motivator. These folks need to get back to work. Hey everybody, Lee Arnold, the CEO of Secured Investment Corp here at the beautiful Coeur d'Alene Lake Resort Golf Course. As you can see, I'm standing on the 14th green. Uh, we just wish you guys could be here joining us. We're having a great time. It's about 88 degrees out here. And as you can see with all the water, it is just beautiful here. And I'm here to tell you guys, we have rounded up some of the top speakers in the industry. They're terrific, the people are friendly. Um, they've really helped my business, my clientele grow. Uh, they've made tremendous progress in the last 18 months since I've been working with them. Um, people are very pleasant, professional, and they know what they're doing. Um, how would you feel about the company opening up brick and mortar stores? I think that would be great. All across uh, the nation? All across the nation. That'd be fantastic. Would, uh, how, how would you see that uh, actually uh, happening in the sense of uh, someone walking into a store and how, how, how does your imagination play on that? Uh, I, I'd like to see them more in, a, in an office building yeah. type situation. And I think the way to do it is to take people like myself that are established, that have appraisers, title companies, real estate attorneys, um, and, and basically emulate that, copy that, duplicate that over and over again. That's right. um, what do you think about this, the circle of wealth, the philosophy of the circle of wealth? Are you familiar with that? Um, in, in, in what sense, I'm sorry? Well, it's really the foundation of the company. It's actually what Lee was, what really started this whole process was, yes, make people money. The idea is that they make money so that they can lend money and then those people can borrow that money and then they make money and then they can lend that money. And that's, that's the whole thing. I, I, I think it's terrific. I think they have a niche out there in the, in the marketplace. The, the big banks are not lending money right now. Money is very difficult to find and um, there aren't that many companies out there that are the real deal. And private money exchange is the real deal out there. And whether you have fantastic credit or if you have damaged credit, whatever you've been through, this is a fantastic company to help grow your business. What? Um would you recommend these types of events to friends or relatives? I think they're uh, invaluable, and uh, I've been in the financial arena and banking, uh, you know, for gosh, you know, 40 years, 35 years, um, and been to a lot of them. And this is this is the best of the best. Wow. Okay. Um, do you feel it's safe working with this company with your investments? 
I think it's about as safe as it gets. I mean, you've got a, you've got a double back up here. Uh, they have a buyout arrangement. You're in a first position on these, these mortgages. Uh, they do their due diligence. They're very thorough. I think it's, it's very, very safe. Do you think that private money, the private money system works as a viable alternative to banks? I think it's, it's an excellent alternative. Uh, the banks just are not putting money out there, you know, right now. And you're able to buy uh, properties below wholesale, and this is cheap money in relationship to what you can do with it. Sure. Um, so, what kind of income are you able to garnish in the last maybe year and a half, two years, working this system? Um, where is your success in that? My success has been enormous, uh, six-figure, you know, income, you know, from this, and it's it's really been a life-changing event. I mean, I was successful before the mortgage mortgage melt, meltdown. I was in the subprime business, and and really, this is an extension of that, but with a lot more safeguards and a lot more uh, protection, uh, both for borrowers, for the company, and for the investors. It's it's terrific. That's awesome. uh, so, what about Lee Arnold? Who is that guy? Why are they saying all these things? Lee Arno is an entrepreneur. Uh, he has a vision that most people don't. Uh, he has found a niche in the market. Uh, he's a very bright, uh, intelligent guy. Uh, he's been able to put this together where not, not only a handful of people out there, you know, across the country, and most of them are boutique lenders. And what I mean by that, they're small lenders that only lend in a city. He's taking that and he's, he's you know, it's a first-class operation, and uh, you know, I'd say he's a five-star uh, specialty lender, you know, out there. Um, would you recommend this service to anyone, your relatives, family, friends? I, in fact, I'm doing it as as we speak uh, from this convention. I want them to get involved. Uh, I've got my son-in-law that's involved. I've got another son-in-law that's in the mortgage business. He's going to start working with this. Uh, it's just, I think it's the the wave of the future. This is something that's going to be around for many years to come. Uh, were you involved in any kind of mentorships? In any what? Mentorships? Uh, not with this particular company, but I've done it with other organizations, but I've observed what they've done here and it's it's uh, very professional and, and, and very beneficial. How has uh, private money become such a viable alternative to the tr traditional banking system? Well, the reason it's a viable alternative, the banks just certainly are not lending money today. And there's so much government regulation, so much more than there was four years ago before the meltdown, that people cannot find money. And this is a, you know, just a tremendous uh, tool to help people continue to move forward. And you can buy properties today at such a heavy discount uh, that you're foolish not to take advantage of this. Um. Are you an investor or a loan? Um, I am a, a commercial loan broker, but I am also a lender in the Chicago area. I represent three private lending groups. Okay. Um, what makes uh, Security Investment Corp shine above the other private money opportunities out there that are floating all over? Uh, I think the reason that they, you know, they're a common sense lender. You know, first off. Uh, a lot of they, you know, they they don't uh, cherry pick deals. They look at the uh, customer, and they look at the deal, the merits of its own, and if it makes sense, you know, they they make the loan. Um, that's all I have. Do you want to add anything that you felt that maybe didn't get said, or just like to say? Yeah, something I that... I would like to say anybody considering this, uh, it's been a life changing. Um, you know, for my career, it's uh, helped me really uh, help my clients. It's helped myself individually, and I couldn't be happier. And uh, you know, I, I we, my wife and I, flew from Chicago up here to come to the event, and uh, I'm coming every year from here on out. Probably a couple times a year to come up here, but I'm excited about the future. And I think this is a company that's going to do some great things. Thank you very much. My name is Jim Mathis, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. <clears throat> Makes all the difference when you have a sound. How about that? Okay. What a concept. Actually, we talked a little bit about some of these questions already when we uh, were at the barbecue the other night. Yes.
So, uh, but I'm just going to run them through, and, and there's no correct answers. All right. <laughs> okay. So, now, through just your general experience, what do you think about the company as a whole? Just from what you, you've experienced so far. The experience has been uh, truly phenomenal and uh, outstanding. Um, the company has brought several things uh, to me and my company and my uh, two sons who run the company with me that uh, I've uh, thought about but never quite understood how to put the systems together or get involved. And uh, uh, the company, I believe, has a, a great future and uh, we're definitely going to be involved with it. Awesome. Um, how would you feel about the, the company opening up storefronts like brick and mortar stores across the nations where people can go in and invest or buy, you know, basically the same system only in a walk-in scenario? I think there's a right place and time for that and I think it's a, a great idea. I, uh, I see Dean's vision on that and uh, truly see how affiliates can be a, a big part of that for helping the company grow and expand, and so I, I think it's outstanding. What do you think of the circle of wealth concept? Have you uh, been shown that through your mentors? Uh, yes, uh, they touched on it briefly, and uh, I share the thought because uh, we're not all about us. We, uh, we're out to help people, and the more people we help, the blessings will flow through for us to help others, and, and uh, I believe uh, get uh, a lot of referral and repeat business, which is business. It's, it's the best business in the world, in my opinion. Would you recommend these kinds of events uh, to friends or relatives? Like Ab the ones that you're in? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the more the merrier. And uh, now that I've uh, found a group after investing uh, for five years and kind of being flat, not knowing what to do, how to do it, um, where to go to seek help to, to get it. Uh, I believe uh, Lee Arnold's uh, organization brings a lot to the table for us uh, personally. Um, do you feel safe working with this company as far as your investments are concerned and your operations and the trust factor? Without question. No, no doubt about it. Uh, they're the real meal deal in uh, lending and investing and uh, they've got 110 percent of my support and uh, faith in them. Um, what about Lee Arnold? He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, uh, he, uh, he's a great idea guy and uh, he's genuine and sincere and uh, I have all the trust in the world in him and uh, the team he's assembled. Um, do you believe that this particular company, out of all the like companies, are, are an expert in their field? Do you, do you think that uh, they compete on any level with anybody else as far as that expertise is concerned? I believe they are the competition, and uh, like I said before, they've uh, brought more to my company and uh, my two sons who run the company with me than anybody else, and that's why I'm here and glad I found them and made the connection. Um, I know you have a, you had a mentor. Um, who was your mentor? Michelle Gunn. Michelle Gunn, that's right. She's going to be shown today, I think. Great. Um, do you think the mentor program sets private money exchange apart from other investment programs towards prosperity? I see um, um, an elevated difference. I've had uh, other mentors, but I believe that the mentorship uh, program in this organization kind of uh, everybody from the top down through the mentors to the affiliates are all on the same page and all going the same direction and it isn't just a piece of the puzzle it's uh, a necessary link of the chain as I see it. So what kind of money have you been able to make in say the last uh, year, year and a half or so through this system? Uh, we are new on board so uh, I, the truthful answer is we're just getting started. Our prior experience is five years investors in only the Denver market. I've been searching for a long time to expand out of that market, learn where to, to go and, and, and find good deals uh, that will help us and our company goals. And uh, the organization has brought me tools and processes which I've been trying to put together myself and I can't. 
it's impossible for me, so I need uh, I need these people, and I'm glad to have them available. Great. Uh, anything else you want to throw in there that maybe I haven't asked, or that you just feel like you know I just really need to say this? Or I'd encourage others to consider this and uh, don't wait five years like I did to find what you need. Get it ahead of time. Uh, get it right away if you're going to make the investment. Do it ahead of time. And uh, I've got tons of books and tapes. I don't regret any educational investment uh, in the past, but I believe this uh, um, company has brought me the best of the best. You know, private money has always been an alternative. I think it's more in this day and age with technology, it's becoming more available or easier to find. Uh, I ran into people doing private money loans 15 years ago, back in the late 90s, and they were just, they would come in contact with people, they'd have to network, find realtors. It was a matter of people who wanted to lend their money, trying to find other people that they could talk to, and, and putting them together was the difficulty. So. I think with what's being done here, being able to connect everyone together much more effectively, it's, it's just increasing the use of private money, which benefits both sides of that. Um, how do investors gain in this business model in the midst of the real estate downturn? How do investors gain in So I would consider this to be the best time to be investing in real estate, uh, really in almost in my lifetime, uh, and probably in the lifetime of anybody who's interested in, in taking a look at this. I, I truly believe that 30, 40 years from now, people are going to look back and talk about the early 2010s or 2000 teens as, wow, if I could only go back and have bought real estate or got into the real estate business back then, imagine now. So we're in, it was so perfectly positioned right now to take advantage of those opportunities. And while many in the media and many are, are still saying that things aren't good or still focusing more on the negativity of what has happened than where the markets truly are at and where we're truly going right now, it creates a huge window of opportunity low prices, uh, not a lot of competition, the availability then of private money to be able to leverage. Uh, I'm a financial advisor, so I normally don't recommend a lot of leverage, but I would absolutely take advantage of leverage in this kind of an environment. Also for investors who are more passive, where they don't maybe have the time, they have another business, and they're not going to go out and find real estate deals, being able to lend to private money deals gives them the ability to participate in some of the benefits of the real estate environment we're in, the high yields they can earn on that money without having to go do the actual work. What makes Security Investment Corps shine above other private money opportunities? I've really enjoyed working with this organization the fact that they put such a focus on their underwriting and their due diligence of reviewing, screening the loans before they get to someone like myself. I represent investors, I'm a wealth manager, and so I place a portion of my clients' assets into uh, trustees. And I could use any firm in the country to do that. 90% or more than 90% of my business comes to this one company because I really think they're head and shoulders above any other firm in their attention to detail, uh, in their screening processes, and it's been a phenomenal relationship for us for almost two years now. Um, do you think the private mentor program sets private money exchange apart from other investment programs for its prosperity? I haven't personally experienced the private mentoring program with this organization, but I have experienced the value of having mentors and learning from experts. So if I was someone looking to get into the real estate business, learn how to be a real estate investor, or learn how to be a private money lender, I would do my homework to find who is really the premier company, who are the top people in that industry, and then I would do anything to be able to learn from them. So to me, to have an opportunity to learn from that team of experts that's been put together here in this company, that's, it's priceless. What, what's the commercial? Uh, to be able to learn something, that's great. To learn from this group of people, that's priceless. I don't know if that's helpful. Um, so what would you think about uh, private money exchange brick and mortar shops opening up here and there across the nation for the public to have access to? 
There are always going to be people who need to walk in and talk to someone face to face, have that personal connection to feel comfortable doing business together, whether that's borrowing money or lending money. So we are in the 21st century, we are in the technology age, and you know what I think? I think that has made the personal connection that much more valuable because with so many other firms going away from it, when you can sit down, look at somebody, shake their hand, talk to them and develop that relationship, that's a, a method of doing business that's falling by the wayside, but for those companies that embrace it and are really focused on that as, a, as part of how they do business, I think it really elevates them and they're gonna do more business with a few more select quality relationships. And that's what we're after is long-term relationships where it's a beneficial situation for everybody involved. So, <laughs> <Go ahead. coughs> excuse me. I was trying to get that last talk out before I had to sneeze. Pushing out that last piece of information. Oh, okay. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what about Lee Arnold? And who is this guy? And uh, <laughs> why is everybody so curious about him and, and his antics? Who is this Lee Arnold guy? Gosh, Lee Arnold is someone who has developed a tremendous wealth of knowledge from doing the work. Uh, the old saying is, those that can do and those that can't teach. And unfortunately, there is some truth to that. And a lot of people who offer training and education, they know how to train and educate, but they haven't actually done the work. They're teaching theory. When Lee says, here's how you could structure a deal, he's talking from experience. He's saying, well, I've structured deals like this before. So you can't walk out of a session or a time with him or out of one of his trainings and say, that's not gonna work because he's done it. So learning from someone who has done what you want to do, there's no greater value than that. You go to the people who are doing what you want to do and you learn from them. And the fact that he's willing not just to do it and make his profit from doing it, but he's willing to share his knowledge with others, that makes him a rare individual indeed. So this next question is just really up in the air. It's like as far as an investor is concerned, um, what makes you attracted to this whole process of working with us and um, being in your position, uh, working with us? Well, how, how does that interest you or profit you in uh, your, your type of money system, different models, mm -hmm. of course, but how do these models come together and benefit you? So, back in 2010, I decided as a wealth manager, I wanted to start adding real estate or real estate related investments back into my portfolio. And so I began looking for a company that I could work with that would do the hard work of finding borrowers, underwriting loans, originating trust deeds, and then I and my clients could be the investors in funding those trust deeds. So really what I need in that is I need a company that has the ability to, to find quality borrowers and isn't just taking anyone that they come across and throwing that deal out to the investors, but is screening out more deals than they bring to the table. And this firm screens out vastly greater uh, numbers of deals that they do not bring to us as investors than the deals that actually do make it to us. So as an investment person, as a wealth manager, I need to know that that due diligence is being done. I need to know that there's a high standard for who they'll actually allow us to even lend money to, that it's not about just the numbers of doing as many deals as possible, but it's about making sure that it's always a partnership that the borrower is always coming out ahead because they're getting access to the money they need to make great profits on their real estate transactions and we are also making good money on our income on our money without a tremendous level of risk if if the risk stays low and the returns are good for us we're always going to be lending money if the people are always making a good profit on the real estate deals they're going to be coming back for more money and so you have this symbiotic relationship it's perfect and what i think this group does that's so unique is they put together the training and education on how to be a real estate investor with the training and education on how to either borrow money from private sources or how to be a private money lender. So they've really taken the whole universe of the real estate industry and they've brought it all together in one place where you have all of the participants working together uh, and you're sitting in the room with a lender, uh, a real estate uh, 
investor who buys, you know, someone who fixes and flips properties, someone who's looking to buy and hold properties, someone who has a lot of money to lend, someone who just has a little bit of money to lend, uh, somebody who's doing both. What a wealth of knowledge that they're able to put together, and, and that really, that's really unique. It's of tremendous value. Through my three years of experience, the company grown tremendously. It's very uh, progressive, and I learn a lot from Lee's seminars, webinars, and his approaches are very down to earth and simple that I could really apply and understand very well. That's why I made my investment uh, successful. What would you think of the idea of um, making brick and mortar stores like all across the nation, like a store you could walk into and uh, say there was like investments on TV screens, you could just go in there sort of like progressive auto insurance or something like that. And you can go in and make investments or get private money all within a walk-in store. What would you think about that? I don't think so. I would like that. You would like that? No. Any, why, would, why would you not like that? First, I'll be worried about security. Second, I have to know what this company is all about before I withdraw my money or invest my money. I wonder if it was this company that was doing that. Oh, absolutely. Okay, that was the question. Oh, actually. that was the question. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> Could you cut that out? Yeah, I'll cut that out. Okay, you want yeah. to re-answer it? Okay, yeah. so I wonder if private money banks were opening up brick-and-mortar stores across the nations where you could actually go into private money exchange and go, well, you know, I'm seeing, and then having live feeds from the main office as far as properties and stuff like that. What would you think about something oh, like that? Oh, it will. It will be wonderful. I, I wouldn't hesitate just to go in there and invest my money, withdraw my money, buy something, because I know the company already, the reputation of the company, and the staff, the CEOs, and all those affiliates, they are very well uh, trained and they're very knowledgeable and I gain my trust to them. So overall, um, that was one of our, our questions here, actually, something about trust. Which one was it? Um, I can't find it. So let's just go on to something else. Um, what do you think about the circle of wealth? Are you involved in that? No, I'm not. I just don't have the idea around circle of wealth. I know I see he that. He talks about that a lot. He talks about that yeah. a lot, but you know. Whereas, well, first you go in and you borrow money, make money, and now you're in a position to lend money to someone else. And now you've completed a circle where you've gone from borrowing to lending. And now someone like you that's first starting out is now you're able to give them or lend them money and then they're able to make money, and then they're able to lend it to someone else. As everybody grows richer, they're able to lend more and more, and that's why it's circular. Oh, that's that's the one thing that I was thinking about it. First, I am just saying I, I want to learn to borrow money. But this, since you mentioned about that, I'm really interested uh, to learn about a circle of money? A circle of wealth. A circle of wealth. And that's really the foundation for everything that Lee does. He's not trying to just get money into people's hands, which is good, but if they can make enough money, they'll put money into other people's hands so that they can make money, so that they can turn around and lend money to other people and make money. And that's why it's, it just goes on and on and on and on. I'm very interested in and that. And that's, that's his his philosophy and that's why the company that you're invested in exists. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's it. Huh? That's it. No. Not no, no, I got more. Oh god. You're doing fine. Oh uh, okay, so um so do you think private money system works as uh, an, uh, a great alternative to a traditional bank? Yeah uh 
Shall I repeat the, the, the question? Do you think or this is the private money exchange is a, uh, a better substitute for borrowing than the traditional bank? Absolutely. And why is that? Why? Because some people, first they have, they don't have to go through with the red tapes. But private money exchange have uh, rules and regulations to, to uh, comply. And they're very strict and selective. They do due diligence all the time. But like for me, now I overextend my uh, credits that I don't really have a very high credit. I don't have low credit, I don't have bad credit, but I have low credit because of, I have a lot of loans. Right. Yes. Oh, because you have a lot of loans. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, so what about Lee Arnold? Oh. Who is this guy? What do you think about him? I would say Lee Arnold is the best, I would say. He's very intelligent. Uh, proactive, uh, always give you tools to learn, and uh, very open. He, he would treat you like, as if he's not Mr. Lee Arnold. He's very down to earth, very straightforward, and I like that in him. And I always tell him, Lee, you are my guardian angel, and he knows that. <laughs> Yeah. I just love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you involved in the mentor program or have been in the past? Or yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Arnold, Arnold, I was the last student of Mr. Arnold for so the mentor program. Tell me what you think uh, about that mentoring process and what did you have to go through? First, meeting Lee, it's really just it's a pleasure, you know. Second, and I did really ask for him that I want to be mentored by Mr. Lee Arnold. Second, oh, he'll work you to death for, for three days, but I learned a lot. I, le I really learned a lot. And he's more uh, structured maybe because I'm kind of not computer savvy. I don't know how to use my smartphone. He taught me how to use my, my smartphone. He used me to do all this computer, which I don't really have the skills, but I have my daughter, Tiffany, uh, to guide me. And I learned trust from him. That's the most important thing that I really wanted to emphasize as my mentor. He hold me, he, you know, in your hand and guide you and lead, navigate, that's the word, navigate me, you know, whatever I wanted to do because I told her, him, I just want to concentrate on funding firstly. But as our relationship grow, because we have the one-to-one -one, uh, telephone calls every week, I eventually try, uh, I eventually develop a trust in him and I could really ventilate and talk to him about my trouble, my uh, uh, shortcomings and he understand that. So do you think uh, the, whatever it cost you, which is, doesn't we don't care about, but do you think that was uh, has paid for itself? Oh, the fee, it's priceless because within th three months I could pay my two mortgages with the strategy that, or the portfolio that he, he did for me. So to me that was like a blessing that lift up, you know, I was so stressed that I keep on withdrawing every month from my IRA and my IRA was depleting every month. So you all back. Oh, all back, yeah, within six months. Wow. That's great. Yes. Um, so over this period of time, how much 
How many properties or how much wealth do you think you've, you've pulled in during, since you've been mentored? How much money have you made coming in and uh, properties and stuff? Yeah, that's a good news too because uh, when I first started working with Lee, I had a two-family house in Jersey City and we bought cash, but we apply, after six months, we apply for, for a mortgage. Yeah. So now it's doing well. The money that uh, pays for the rent, pays for our mortgage, okay. and we still have a positive cash flow with partnership. Then last year, when I came here with him, I went to Carlsbad, California. And I, would, I, I brought in my cousin with me, and we bought a property because of Lee's recommendation. I kept on texting Lee, he called me up and he said, take that. And now it's doing very, very well. So how much, how much money do you think you're worth now in properties? Okay. Sh shall I tell, you, tell that to other people? Okay. Five, seven. Nine hundred thousand, just for the the three properties. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yes. That's good. And that's where I started yeah. doing the the Arnold whatever. The, I'm the solution. Yeah. Yeah. And private money exchange. <laughs>